All right, guys, we're back with round one, Edison format, Epic Cards and Games in Hearst, Texas. We got Aaron on the left playing Christia Sworn and myself on the right playing uh, Frog Monarchs. So Aaron went first, summons card, Trooper Mills, double JD and Beckoning. So Aaron Gold Sarks. I wonder how many Beckonings he's playing. We'll see. So Gold Sarks, another Beckoning. Maybe he's playing two or three. I don't know how many they play in Christia Sworn. But yeah, he's trying to get back those JDs. Okay, it looks like Aaron's going to pass. Now, traditionally, this is a bad matchup for Frog Monarch, because if he drops a Christie, I don't have many outs to it, especially game one. So here I just set a monster. He can go get oh, Aaron. Okay, so he most Gold Sark, Hamster, and Herald of Orange Light Swords. So far, he's only got one Fairy, no Light Swords. Let's see what Aaron does. He attacks into my Treeborn Frog. And let's see what else. All right. So I'm playing like the all right, so Econ, the Car Trooper. I think I was playing double Econ, like triple Soul Exchange, triple Lad. It's just the standard Frog Monarch deck. Milling the the Uni Frog was actually really good there because Aaron, they don't play many back rows in Christie Sworn. Like the only back rows they play is maybe like a Mirror Force and Beckoning Lights. Okay, so here, so I know his hand is probably bad, so I. I put his, uh, what, face down monster on top of his deck, which is probably a Raikou. So let's see if Aaron can can deal with this. He's got, like, double Honest in hand, so now he gets the Beckoning back. Sorry, he adds the Beckoning off Gold Sark. And yeah, I'm, I mean, it's looking good for me. He's only got one Fairy, no Light Swarms. But I don't remember what was in my hand. This was, when did this tournament take place? Oh, not even a week ago. I'm starting to catch up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so he sets maybe a Raikko and the Beckoning. But JD doesn't hurt my deck as bad as Christia, so I really don't care if he grabs back his, his JDs. I just don't want him to, like, drop a Christia on me. Okay, so let's see. What do I have in my hand? All right, Special Summon Swap Frog. So I, 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 lately at my locals, I've been like tr trying out uh, frogs again and Diva Hero Beat. All right, so I put back the riser. So I'm probably going to rise him again because I, I know his hand is like bad. So here we hit him for 34. Will he use the beckoning? So now we get him down pretty low. He's at what, 22? Oh, he drew. Oh, I think it's Hamster. Okay, so he has Honest. So that gives him two fairies now for Christia. But this is okay. Especially if I have a Caius or a Ryza in my hand or a Lad. Okay, so here comes Treeborn Frog. All right, and Aaron uses the Beckoning, discards Wolf, Hamster, and Honest. So he's probably going to grab back the, Hor the Herald of Orange Light and another Honest. This is this is okay, but if if I have a monarch, he's gonna orange light me. If I try to attack over his his Garoth, he has double honest. What am I at? Sixty one fifty. So how do I get out of this? He's at twenty two. I see some spells in my hand, but I don't know what they are. Maybe it's like dead MST or heavy. Okay, so I have a Caius, but if I drop the Caius, and I'm gonna get orange lighted. So I think, so at least we get the orange light out of his hand if he does you. All right. Why am I reading Swap Frog? Okay, Bounce Swap Frog. All right, so he hits me for 8150. All right, so I have Gores, that's why. So now we know. All Aaron has in his hand is an Honest. So it's looking pretty good for me. So I'm at 43 to his 22. So he has Honest, and this deck normally doesn't play any real trap cards. Like I said, the, the maybe one Torrential, one Mirror Force, but that's about it. They don't play, like, Bottomless and stuff, at least usually. Okay, so here comes Swap Frog. Just get another Swap Frog out of the deck.
The only issue is his honest. Yeah, see, I'm, I'm not afraid of mirror forts when I play this deck. Now, he could get me with it, but... Okay, so here... I would I know he's going to honest me, so I'd rather he get rid of my token than my gores, because at least my gores can run it over the, the next turn. Okay, so here with Swap Frog, I either bounce itself back. I could bounce the Treeborn, but I'm taking unnecessary damage if I do that. So let's see what I, what do I decide here. Okay, so yeah, I don't want to take too much damage, so I put the Swap Frog back. We're both pretty low. He's at 22. I'm at 2450. Okay, so now... Oh, that was a good draw. Now he can Goyo my Gores. This, I remember that this was unfortunate for me. Okay, so I normal sub. Soul exchange his Goyo. So how many fairies does he have in there? Two orange lights, two honest. All right, so I get dupe frog. Yeah, I get dupe frog. So this, I think, was kind of a mistake. I activated a second soul chain to get rid of the gores. I didn't have to, but I, I kind of got greedy because I'm... I know he has, like, zero cards. He has, like, no cards. So I'm like, how do you out my sub and dupe log? Even if you drop a Christia. I should have just left the gores on the field. So here, Aaron foolishes. Wolf. Yeah, he foolish his wolf. What's his last card? I mean, he's got wolf, and it all depends. It all comes down to also what I have in my hand. So, swap frog, slimming down the deck. What do I have left? Oh, okay, I think that's like the last substitute. So I, I always, I obviously don't have any monarchs because I would have monarched him for sure. So here I bounce back the treeborn, and Aaron draws. I mean, it's still looking okay. I just need to draw a Monarch to clear his field. But then he top decks Christia. He has exactly four fairies because there's two Orange Light and two Honest. So he grabs back Honest. So this hurts. So this is why I should have held the Soul Exchange because I could I could have Soul Exchanged him right here. He'd, ha he'd have Gores on the field, but I would have had to out to Christia right there. I should have checked... Uh, how many fairies he had. I think I lost track. I wasn't paying too close attention at that point. How many fairies. I was just like, there's times when you're like in such a good spot where you're like, I don't think there's anything he can do. I mean, he really can't. I just need to draw a monarch. Let's say he gets rid of one dupe. I still have the soft lock. But I feel like I got greedy there. So let's see if Aaron can get out of this. But he top decks Celestia. So that... So here I'm just like getting punished bad. Like he top decked the Christia, which hurt, and then he top decked the Celestia. But again, it's just sometimes in Yu-Gi-Oh, I, I see it happen a lot. You make a small error and your opponent just draws out of it. If you make like one small mistake. Okay, so 22 to 2350. Now I'm staring down Christia. Christia, Celestia. All right, so I set another monster. What's Aaron's last back row? It has to be in a third beckoning. Okay, hits over Swap Frog, hits over Treeborn. Is there a way I can get out of this? I think the only out I have is like a soul exchange, another soul, a third soul exchange. So I scoop. So yeah, you guys saw how I did, <clears throat> me being greedy with that soul exchange cost me that game. I, I think I would have 100% won. I, I would have like soul exchanges Christia, brought out a uh, like a frog. But I still have to draw out of it because I couldn't draw any like monarch. So I, maybe Aaron would have still won that game, but I would have been in a better spot. Because with the Soul Exchange, it would have put the Christia back on top. So we'll never know. 
<clears throat> anyway, I'm going first, second game. I go one for one, discard Battle Fader. I actually cited out a few Battle Faders in this matchup because against Christy Swarm, I don't I don't really care about his Judgment Dragon and stuff. I just need to deal with Christia. That's it. This is like a a bad matchup for Frogs because we, we play no trap cards. So it stops our best play, which is Treeborn for a Monarch. So here I'm debating if I'm going to go for the Sop. Okay, so I'm going for the... Oh, and I have the other Dupe Frog in my hand. I remember now. Bounce Swap. Normal Summon Dupe. Pass. So Aaron opens Charge. Mills Christia. Orange Light. And Lila. So already it's... Looking bad. He's got two fairies and one light sworn, and he's probably gonna get Lumina. Yeah, this game is already looking bad for your boy. <laughs> one thing I like about Aaron is he's always playing like the interesting. Like he he doesn't play like Black Wings or Vayu. He's usually playing like Welladad or Christia Sworn, Pure Light Sworn, or what's the other deck he plays? Six Samurai. All right, so he, that that caught me off guard. But I forget I forget some people do side that card. It's not it's actually pretty good against frogs. You get rid of especially if they're playing the hero frog deck. You get rid of uh, dupe block and ab zero. So, and a lot of times they'll drop the dupe block on you with ab zero. <laughs> okay, so Aaron sets probably a Ryko. Come on, Ryza, Ryza. Okay, so upstart him here. Yeah, there's the Ryza. Target the monster. Okay, so I'm trying to Ryza lock him. So 1,000 and then 24. So put, yeah, the, the, I'm definitely 100% trying to Ryza lock him. So he redraws the Ryko. So this time he decides to just go for the Lumina play, trying to mill six. Okay, so 17. So here comes Gores. So I need to, I need to take the thousand off. Did I give Aaron his thousand for upstart? Yeah, I did. I did because he would have. He was a nine k. All right. So now he moves for like orange light, honest. So Aaron knows I have Ryza. So I either put the Lila back or the Lumina back. Probably the Lila. So yeah, I'm check I'm asking him for his grave to see how many honest are gone, how many orange lights are gone. So Ryza, the Lila. So I think one honest is gone. So I'm like, okay, what are the chances you have an honest? So this is why I choose to crash the token. So if he does have Honest, I can just easily run. He still has to deal with my Ryza and Gores next turn. So here Aaron's at 500. So he can't pay for Judgment Dragon if he does draw it. And quick game two. So I force a game three. Let's see if I can get, get off with a round one win. Or is Aaron going to get the win? We'll see. Aaron opens charge. So he mills Christia, two Life Swords, two Fairies. So yeah, that's that's a great opening for Aaron. He gets Garoth, so he probably already has Lumina in his hand. Gosh, Aaron opened insane. Lumina and Charge. And two Life Swords and two Fairies. Yeah, Lumina, Garoth. Mills. So he's got four Fairies. And I think... Two light swarms already. Yep. Celestia, Arcus. Yeah, Aaron drew insane this third game, man. Let's see. Can I can I get out of it? Problem is my deck is so slow, so I give Aaron, like slow decks do kind of bad against light swarm at times because you give them turns to, like mill and set up their graveyard for Christia and JD. 
Because like the Monarch deck wins by slowly just outgrinding your resources with Caius, with Ryza. Same thing with Diva Hero Beat. Like that deck just went slowly grinds you out with like D Prisons and Spark, Honest. Okay. So I Soul Exchange. If it's Ryza, I probably put the Garoth back on top of his deck. So you can see I'm debating the Lumina. I think be, I, I chose the Lumina in case he has... Oh, no. I cited in Vanity's Fiend. I don't remember why. I think I have a lot of dead cards against Aaron. So I just threw Vanity's Fiend. And like one or two Vanity's Fiends. Like a, a lot of my cards are, are bad against him. Like, I side out all my spell and trap removal, and I think what else did I side out? Okay, so he pitches Orange Light. I think that's five fairies, right? Summons Lila. What else does he have? So he chooses not to attack. Maybe he can't deal with the Gores. Mills three, Mills two. No draw from Garoth, at least. All right, so 8,000, 8,000. How many cards are in Aaron's hand, too? So this is actually looking okay for me. Aaron's only got five cards, but if he has a Beckoning Light, then... What does Aaron think I set? Okay, so yeah, I just chain Threatening Roar. I'm trying to get him to deck out. <laughs> Have a mill. He's going to mill three for Lila, two for Garoth. Actually, the I think... No, I can't spoil it. Never mind. <laughs> I was about to spoil something. Good thing I caught myself. All right, so there's the beckoning. He sends Trooper, Gold Sark, Orange Light. Can he make Christy alive? If he can make Christy alive, it's not looking good for your boy. All right, so he gets Christy. He's probably going to get... Something, yeah, to stop a monarch. Oh, I, I remember. That's why. That's why I cited uh, a vanity screen because it, I don't want to get orange lighted. Okay, so he drops Christia. So he grabs Honest. So yeah, Aaron's hand. Aaron's hand's really good. So he mills. Three, and then Mills two. Okay, at least he's not drawing for Garoth. Let's see if I have an out for Christia. Maybe I should side Lightning Vortex myself. <laughs> but the problem is a lot of times that the, they break, they drop the Christia on you again. It's, it's the issue. Okay. So we're still both at AK. So Aaron attacks for 1850. What did I side D prison? Am I Ryan? Ryan eyed? Oh, it's Chalice. Oh, okay. I have Gores in my hand. So I take 32, drop Gores with a 3200 token. So Aaron has Orange Light and Honest. So he can choose to Orange Light my Gores. But since he has Honest, he probably doesn't care. He's like, you can't deal with my. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot he can he can drop JD because uh, of Christia. So he pays a, a thousand, wipes my field. Christia goes back on top, and now he mills Christia and Wolf. So I'm at twenty nine fifty. He has orange light, so if I draw a monarch or something, it doesn't matter. What I really need is like an enemy controller to take his JD. Soul Exchange is not bad, but I scooped. So congrats to Aaron on that round one win. Uh, again, just small error in game one. Me being greedy with that Soul Exchange maybe cost me the match. That's just Yu-Gi-Oh. You make small errors, cost you games. Anyways, but then at the same time, Aaron ripped it back to back. Ripped the Christia, ripped the Cel the The Christia was fine because he plays three. It was more the Celestia that really, really hurt. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed that duel. We'll be back soon for a round two. Bye, guys.